Hello Pisces, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So this is your reading for the uh, next week of May and this is from 20th of May till 26th of May. And this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, uh, in this reading I'll pull out a couple of oracle cards, we'll see what are the messages for you general messages spiritual messages and for the lack of better words practical messages then i'll also pull out the tarot cards as usual and we'll see what you need to know regarding your overall energy messages related to career finances as far as your love life is concerned energy of your ex and energy of your next so there is an extended reading for this one link for the same is in a description box and comment section so we have inner child healing for you spiritual message then let's see what is the practical message what is the practical message for you what is the practical message for you we have priorities interesting i'll keep this here <clears throat> Then, as far as the tarot cards messages are concerned, your overall energy, Pisces, we have King of Pentacles. Career and finances, we have Chariot. Any other general messages? Six of Swords. Energy of your ex. Nine of Swords. Energy of your next. We have Death and Rebirth and we have Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck we have Nine of Pentacles. So Pisces, if I have to talk about, uh, if I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see uh, Scorpio, I see Aries, I see uh, Cancer, I see Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aquarius. Libra, if the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Inner child healing. We are starting off with oracle messages. Inner child healing, Pisces. Hmm. Has it been the case, Pisces, that because of lack of enough of love from family, from parents, uh, while growing up, you probably there was a lot of comparison between you and other siblings, or I feel that there was a lack of something while growing up or maybe maybe uh maybe your parents were struggling financially when you were a kid okay and because of a lot of financial struggles childhood was probably rough for you okay and less satisfaction or you kind of grew up in an atmosphere where there was a lot of chaos in and around you and maybe because of lack of sufficient love while growing up <clears throat> i think so uh, you started seeking love outside of your family quite early on in your life pretty early on okay and it's not that you were doing it on purpose. 
it was everything was happening automatically you were doing what you were feeling that you should be doing okay and your need was pretty obvious to any other person that you want love you are looking out for love you need love this need or probably in certain cases eagerness or desperation was obvious to the other person and because of the fact that you wanted love was so obvious many people kind of entered in your life using love as a pretext and they in a way misused that factor they in a way they they just got into a relationship with you so that they could have some fun with you i think so sex happened pretty early on in your life uh or probably uh you attracted to- toxic partners and they were entering in your life because they thought that you need love and they were throwing bread crumbs at you and they were thinking that they are giving something to you even though it was bread crumbing they thought that they were giving something to you and in return they were expecting that you should tolerate their toxicity so maybe you were also a part of lot of abusive relationships lot of abuse came your way because of lack of love or affection that or not sufficient love of a love or affection that you experienced while growing up so there is this trauma that is there either in it can be the case that it, this might be the case of this childhood or might be the case of uh, in the previous lifetimes see the soul keeps on carrying forward the the trauma the wounds it keeps on carrying forward if it if it is not healed so it is not necessary that the trauma that you experience is from this lifetime only and once you uh, go to the heaven then ev- you settle down everything and then you go to the heaven like the soul doesn't carry any kind of baggage along with it no it's not the case many a times in fact most of the times it does carry some baggage okay it does carry some wounds it also carries some good memories okay uh so if you're feeling like oh no my childhood was really wonderful maybe there is some sort of baggage that your soul has carried from a previous lifetime okay and that needs to be healed till the time you don't heal it it will keep on getting carried forward okay so healing your inner child is very important and sometimes it also happens that <clears throat> uh we grew up in a setup where the family is big okay like there are like 10 15 kids and nothing but i mean i do not want to say that this is wrong no in fact it's a very beautiful thing it's a blessing for from the god okay if you are able and capable of bearing so many kids it's a blessing from the god okay but then it also happens that if you have had two kids and the kind of attention you would have been able to uh, i mean you could give to one one or two kids with with 10 15 kids that attention also reduces when the number of kids uh, increases right again i'm saying it's not wrong to have more number of kids it's a it's a very beautiful thing i'm a strong believer in god and i will always say that kids are a gift from the god okay but then the attention gets divided the love gets divided right so lack of sufficient love while growing up probably was an issue and that needs to be healed pisces that needs complete attention now how you can heal this you can heal this on your own through meditation sometimes it also gets healed when you find a better partner for yourself okay sometimes 
it is a need for you before you find the right partner it is necessary for you to heal yourself heal your inner child so whatever might be the case i mean why wait for the person if you can heal it on your own do some healing while meditation okay write affirmations that my inner child has been healed feel happy okay do things to make yourself happy apart from that you can also uh, attend some reiki healing sessions they are also very good to heal yourself okay uh, affirmations i would rather say write down affirmations on daily basis like bombard your mindset okay condition your mind uh, and tell your mind your soul that you have healed it will automatically commence the process of healing okay so you have to write it every day that my inner uh, my inner child has been healed my inner child is healed and my inner child is very happy okay so if you do that on daily basis or if you don't want to write me you can also say it you can say it 100 100 times i would always say use the number 108 108 is a very auspicious number so whatever you, if you want to chant anything if you want to say affirmations say it for 108 times it it hardly takes one or two minutes max to max 5 minutes you can spare 5 minutes in 24 hours okay so inner child healing is necessary pisces and we have priorities priorities uh, try to focus on your priorities first all other luxuries can be managed later it will help you to feel better and more confident so this is the practical advice for you pisces so uh, see when you decide to spend money the spending of money always gets divided into two things first is the necessary things or the priorities and the another one you can you can consider it as not necessary but maybe you want to do it because you want to do it okay because you feel like you you can experience certain emotions if you do it positive emotions if you do it okay and there is of course everyone can do it but the priority or the importance should always be given to things that are necessary so take care of necessary things first food clothing shelter should always be the important and the necessary thing okay mandatory thing there are also the priorities when you start with work okay you always write down in the diary in your agenda what are the important things what are the priorities and then we write down what are the non priority things if you spend your time and energy towards your non priority things first and you decide to uh, take care of your priority things later, uh, later definitely imbalance will get uh, imbalance will happen in your life okay so take care of priorities first focus on the priorities first okay take action towards priorities first and then go towards the non priority things which can be luxury which can be anything else okay so that was a practical advice as far as your overall energy is concerned we have king of pentacles pisces king of pentacles is telling me that your overall energy is absolutely stable uh and not only stable you are coming across as very confident person pisces okay because of that what is going to happen is first and foremost you will be making right decisions and you will be making fast decisions third you are becoming highly capable of uh either distancing yourself from the chaos or keeping the chaos at a distance from you because of that what is going to happen is your mind and your soul will be at peace so your capabilities are increasing second your decision making is improving you are making right decisions beneficial for yourself and third if i have to be more specific pisces i do see that money related messages are coming across uh, i mean uh money related uh, financial abundance related messages are abundantly present in your entire spread okay so i would like to uh, certainly say about this that either you are reaching a position where you are coming across as financially secure or financially abundant 
it may happen in the next seven days it might happen later on as well but the energy is coming across like that or it might just be a beginning in the next seven days you will start walking towards financial abund abundance or financial uh, stability whatever you are manifesting i feel like for many of you whether you are manifesting or not i do feel like financial abundance is coming towards you and this is coming towards you as a part of good karmas okay so king of pentacles is certainly telling me that your financial situation is improving to a large extent there is a great deal of financial uh, stability getting infused uh, in your life okay and that is helping you make some good amount of money for yourself i mean that is helping you attract good amount of money for some of you uh, not only you're going to get money through your regular sources of income like whatever business you're doing job you're doing but apart from that you are also making money uh, i mean money is also happening because of certain other reasons like probably winning of the lottery or probably some inheritance spending inheritance coming towards you or probably winning of a litigation suit okay but one thing is for sure you are attracting money pisces okay and this is also happening as a result of the efforts that you are putting towards your career and your finances let's talk more specifically about your career and your finances we have the chariot pisces so career and finances uh, <clears throat> first and foremost you have to ask yourself a certain things pisces uh you have to be honest with yourself okay the more honest the more transparent you are going to be with yourself the more strong uh leap of faith you will take towards uh, towards your career and the more significant decisions you will be making in your life which will have long term positive impact on your career on your professional life okay what what are the honest things that you have to question yourself pisces like are you happy in whatever you are doing are you feeling passionate about whatever you are doing in your career in your professional life okay this is something that you have to keep on asking yourself time and again okay because if you are doing things that truly make you happy your career graph is going to escalate like anything okay and i'm not saying that if you are doing things that are not making you happy doesn't mean that you are not going to see growth but obviously when we are passionate about whatever we are doing when we really like when we really love whatever we are doing okay we put our heart and soul into that was a was a 9 to 5 job we are doing just because we want to pay the rent okay so we put our heart and soul into those things that we really like that we really love that we really are enjoying and when we are sent percent present into whatever we uh, present into doing things that we love it it shows the result okay the result is apparent i mean it's it's obvious it's visible not only to yourself but also to the world okay so the cards are indicating i mean why i'm saying that you have to be honest with yourself if you see this card clearly these are the two swings okay one is white one is black and i'm really getting attracted towards those swings i mean uh wow there is a massive storm outside so electricity is acting a bit funny today anyway so be honest with yourself honesty uh be honest with yourself honesty and passion will take you uh, to places when it comes to your career other general messages we have six of swords so six of swords is telling me a possible relocation is there on the card spices this might be expected this might be unexpected but i'm getting this as a very strong message or if you had applied for visa and stuff that is getting approved okay your visa is getting approved that's what i'm hearing for many of you relocation is on the cards as far as your ex is concerned we have nine of swords nine of swords is telling me pisces that someone from the past is uh, certainly going through a period where they are feeling very lonely 
and now that they are so lonely they cannot think of anyone else but you this person probably they have experienced uh they have got the taste of their own medicine pisces okay and uh, i am very sure like whoever this ex is they have not only hurt you but they have hurt many people in their life in a way they have sort of realized that karma is uh, biting their aws and they cannot run away from that they will have to face whatever is coming towards them and not only that uh, now that they are so lonely now that they are so uh they are they are so disappointed with themselves and they are going through a very low phase a very rock bottom phase of their life you know when a person is going through something like this they remember those people who have who were there for them okay anyone like say for example you are going through a low phase in your life you'll always remember that person who was always genuinely there for you in your life okay and that's what this person is doing your ex is going through a very difficult period in their life and they are thinking about you right now they are thinking about you because they thought i mean they are of this opinion that you were the only one who was always there for them who you were the only one who was genuinely uh, uh present for this person doing things for this person who was a well wisher for this person they are not thinking about any of their other partners their family members or their friends no nobody they can only think of you because you did for this person you did uh, you passionately did things for this person and not only you uh, like you were doing things for this person wholeheartedly you loved this person so that is why this person is thinking a lot about you and it is quite possible pisces that you will uh, feel the energy of this ex of yours who is thinking a lot about you it is also possible that they might get in touch with you but the advice would be let them deal with their own karma okay you don't end up uh, attracting their karma something that they are meant to deal with let them let them deal with that as far as your new person is concerned we have the death and rebirth and we have seven of pentacles so death and rebirth and seven of pentacles is telling me that first and foremost i do feel like whoever this new person is they are very good looking this person has lot of options lot of options okay uh it is also quite possible pisces that this person probably was uh they had a lifestyle where they were getting into relationships so they were getting into connections just for some casual fun okay but now they are moving away from that now they are becoming more and more serious about love and relationships i would not uh, i would definitely say that this person certainly had a lot of partners in the past but they were all casual situations hookups and uh getting into a relationship because they thought that they are in love with that person but they quickly realize that they are not in love and then they get out of those relationships and yes this person has also hurt some of their previous partners but i mean they never did anything on purpose okay and this person is also someone like when they realize that they are doing something wrong or they are a part of a wrong situation that they should not be a part of or if they are ending up or if they are hurting someone then this person also doesn't mind apologizing they have certainly apologized their previous partners uh for hurting their sentiments if at all they have hurt it this person might have hurt it uh, sentiment sentiments of one or two people uh one or two partners and they have apologized for that uh this person has started realizing that it's time for them to become more serious about relationships it's time for them to manifest their true love this person so far 
I think so the cards are indicating that they were never and ever in love with anyone so far. I mean, it was never a true love. You are going to be this person's true love, Pisces. Now that they are getting into that phase, now they are uh, shifting their mental gears, okay? Now that their soul has prepared them for uh, a serious connection, okay? Their soul has prepared them for true love. You, that is when you're going to land up in this person's life. And also another indication with the nine of pentacles, I do feel like when you will be doing really well for yourself, Pisces, okay that is when when you will be very happy with your own life that is when i think so you're going to meet this person okay there is a, a lot of things are going to change uh, in your life after you meet this person okay it's like two souls waiting to find one another okay this connection i also feel especially with the death and the rebirth card i do feel like both of you will grow together in this connection. Both of you are also meant to uh, attract a lot of uh, abundance uh, together and individually. Uh, maybe it is also quite possible that both of you will get into some... Uh, both of you might get into some sort of... Uh, uh, what shall I say? Uh, some sort of uh, projects or you might work together uh, on a specific career, very likely on spirituality career or maybe something related to finance, okay? If you're interested in that, like stock market or something like that. But I don't know. I, I do feel like if both of you come together, you are going to revolutionize a lot of things in that domain, okay? So I, uh, this, this, connection will be constantly evolving both of you will be constantly growing and this is certainly a long-term situation this is not a short-term one very likely this is going to be your future spouse there might be some small periods of separation as well because i think so you are also in a phase i mean although there is a lot of balance that has uh, that has gotten restored in your life in general but still, as a person, you are evolving, Pisces. You have overcome major challenges in your life. You are, you have also healed yourself from a lot of previous situations. But that doesn't mean a person stops growing. You are also evolving a lot. You are also becoming a better version of yourself. And uh, so that is why I feel like you are also evolving. This person is also evolving. That is why this relationship will undergo a lot of changes. This relationship is going to grow to a large extent. Okay. And uh, that's what I see in this connection, Pisces. I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person Pisces. Take care, have a great time and bye-bye.